the modes. I want these new modes inside of NBA 2K17, and this is the reason why. When you add different features to other modes, what you do is you trick the consumer, your statistics and everything, into thinking that this mode is something like the most played mode in your game, when that's really not the factor. My career, some people will say it's the most played mode in the game. Others would argue my team. Others would argue my park. Others would argue 2K Pro-Am. But guess what? My park and Pro-Am are kind of like features of my career. Now, remember when I told you earlier in this video, I would love for my career to be an only offline mode. Let's talk about 2K Pro-Am, the mode on the home screen for a moment. If you add 2K Pro-Am as a mode on a home screen, guess what you can do? You can press X, you can go in, have your lobby already set up and start inviting players to your lobby. Because if you're not gonna add crew back where you had a specific set of people to be in your crew and you can just add randoms to your lobby, why not have the lobbying system on the home screen for 2K Pro-Am? You can press 2K Pro-Am, an option could pop up to say play with friends, lobby, or go at it alone you know like randomize or something like that or matchmaking or something like that if you add those features to that mode on the home screen it would be so much doper because in 2k pro m you can make a court you can make jerseys all of that can be accessible all you have to do is go into 2k pro m mode and click on lobby or something like that or um settings or customize or something like that or your court or your jerseys as long as you put the mode itself on the home screen instead of inside of my career it will the statistics will show that 2k pro m is played a lot all right don't just put road to the finals on the home screen and call it a doozy all right my park on the home screen it's there but we need it to be revamped and this is what i mean by that when you click on my park what does it do send you straight to i mean send your ass right to the park no ands ifs or buts about it you know if you hit x your ass is going to the park why not give us matchmaking playing with friends all of that jazz after you click my park on a home screen not just sending us to a park but giving us an option what if when you click my park you have the 2k store you have the uh your wins and losses your um your closet like i said you know people need a closet and you have the play with friends feature you have matchmaking and what about this this is dope as fuck what if you had tears just like in destiny and division stuff like that pros cannot play up against all-stars or all-stars cannot play up against legends unless they want to now if you choose to be a pro level and you go into that dungeon of legends if you win you get more boosts in your rep but if you're a legend and you go and go try to take over a bunch of pros and you know what you're doing you don't get that much of a rep boost when you're beating them pro level dudes or those rookie level dudes that would be a dope ass idea because it'll basically be like a graduation type thing you start off at rookie you graduate to pro okay i'm in the pro tiers now you start playing up against pros or oh shit i'm an all-star now you start playing up against all-stars oh legend status you start playing up against legends or you can be a rookie and play up against legends if you get bodied a bunch of times oh well you got body but if you get these w's you get that rep boost that would be so much better than just got next all the time got next i hey it, it's in the game i don't think they're ever going to take it out because they're trying to make it like that matchmaking type system but if you just add tears to this shit 2k would be fucking awesome my perk would be more played than it is now and i know a lot of people that love that legend grind but i probably would play it as well because i would know where i'm going from here and also when you're giving us that red boost man come on please tell us how many more games is going to take to get to another level or how many more points rebounds assists like you know give us those type of goals to crack open the next barrier like say you have to score uh 100 points to get to like rookie level uh two right you need 100 points you need 15 rebounds or 20 rebounds you need like five steals or something like that right and then boom bang it cracks open and it just keeps going you know either 
you meet the win criteria or you meet the goal criteria in assists, points, rebounds, stuff like that. That would be pretty dope. Now, let's talk about my court. My court is inside of my career as well. It's so crazy how my career is like the mecca of all these online moves, man. My court should be on the home screen. My court should be those private games, unranked matches with your my players up against other my players to lab for talking uh, trash, all of that. And it should go from 1v1 to 5v5. My court has a full court in your my career, right? But you cannot utilize it. Also, give us great spectating. I'm not talking about watching from one angle. I'm talking about when you're spectating, you could change the camera view. You could change what player you are locked in on. Please make spectating 10 times better, especially for my court. My court can be so dope because you can customize the court. You can change the wallpaper, the background, the floor, the balls, paws, all that. Like, you should be able to make my court a nice online feature for my players only unranked all of it is unranked none of it should count towards like rap or none of that stuff and also before i say move on to the next thing this rep affiliation all that nonsense affiliation should only be on rival days man if i choose to be a flyer and i want to play with a baller let me play with a baller if i want a baller and i want to play with a rider let me play with a rider Come on, 2K, man. You can't keep segregating us like this. Man. It's racism. It's racism, man. All right. Now, two last things before I get up out of here. A play offline tab and a play online tab. I know a lot of people are like, but bro, play now is like the easiest thing. You hit play now and then like you can choose from a bunch of different options. Why can't you make it play offline and play online? If I want to play offline, I want to play a quick game with a person in my crib and we grab the sticks. Pause. Why can't we just do it like that? What if I want to play online? That's where the unranked, the ranked, you know, blacktop online, stuff like that. Like, bring all of these modes back. If I want to play offline blacktop and I want to play up against the computer, anytime you want to play up against the computer and have or play up against somebody that is in your home, that should be play offline. If you want to play anything online, you need to hit play online, not hit play now. Because when a person goes to Blacktop and they're like, oh, I'm about to go on, go on to Blacktop, Blacktop is back. Oh, we about to do it. And then when they be like, yeah, so it's only you and the computer. And nah, we not online with it though. It confuses the heck out of people, 2K. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up and share this with the devs, with Ronnie2K, LD2K, and make sure you follow me on social media at iPod King Carter for everything besides Snapchat. If you want to see me up on Snapchat, add me Team IKC. But this is your boy IKC signing out, man. I'm going to holler at y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Some dudes win, a few dudes lose Nobody want to be a fan anymore Niggas get too cool, get it? Jump in the books like the Blues Clues do Can't pay my bills with all these YouTube views I'm trying to make a difference Niggas savage like there ain't no jail You killed her son, she know who did it Think she ain't gonna tell And that's murder, so there ain't no bail So you stuck in